Hey everyone, Katherine King here and I have a fun haul today. It is my absolute favorite vendor of second and spruce. I have piles and piles of snap bars because that is my favorite choice. Um, as you know, I hate cutting wax. So I have a lot of snap bars. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and go through, oh my gosh. I went ahead and took everything out of the box because there were a lot of squiggles. I'm like making noise. Candy. Candy is always a good thing. I got to move it out from underneath the piles of snap bars. Okay. It's her little thank you and her social media. So I've got that. Um, sorry. Her business card. my invoice, which is always nice to have. So I, or actually packing slip, so I can know just how naughty I was when I went shopping, trying to move things out of the way. I'll put that there. And then her instructions says, thank you for your order. I want to let you know that the wax goodies for this September pre-order have been poured over the last six weeks. And then she recommends, um, uh, oh, the squiggles. Um, she recommends letting it cure for a month. Um, she knows that it's hard to sit and wait, but it's worth the wait. So she's always so sweet when it comes to um, her little notes. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started with these. That's all I got when it comes to the mini loaves. Like I said, I really hate cutting wax. Um, Oh, uh, maybe we should do the, I think I'll do the samples first. I keep dropping squiggles everywhere. Um, okay, it's in the cutest burlap sack. So a lot of times I'm like, what am I going to do with these, you know, the various organza bags and stuff. I'm going to have to come up with something super cute to do with this. I mean, I mean, isn't it? I mean, it's just precious. I mean, I mean, talk about putting thought into this predator. Yes, I'm missing a nail. Anyway, I just her her whole thing is she obviously thought through how she's going to present it. Just like over the summer when she did the sampler boxes and I picked up the raspberry sampler, it was all set in there a very specific way. And the bags she used, especially when it was like the... PB and J one. I mean, she really puts thought. This is Eric Kane I'm talking about. If you guys have never ordered from Second and Spruce, it's Erica and Slade Kane, and you need to order. So she might still have um, some pre order um, samplers open right now. Because I last time I talked to her, she had 15 left of the hundred. So those might still be there. I'm not sure. Go check out our website. Okay, first sample, Cuddle Up Coffee. And this is espresso, pumpkin pecan waffles, cashmere cedar, and hints of cinnamon sugar. And it's, it's yep, it is just her amazing, her amazing coffee. If you've never tried Second and Spruce Coffee, uh, you need to. So Brandy, I know that you requested some Second and Spruce. Um, if you want some coffee, let me know and I will include that in the goodie box to you. So next one, a buttered rum eggnog. It is definitely eggnog, but... It's said a festive kick to to your holiday or your favorite holiday blends. Yeah, you can definitely smell that buttery note in it. Hmm. Buttered rum eggnog. Yeah, I don't know if that's like a single scent oil or what, but there's a buttery kick to that. Okay, and last one, Jack is obsession, which I believe or is obsessed, which is Jack's Obsession type. So all of you who love Jack's Obsession but don't want to order Scentsy, here you go. And it's fantastic. 
So it's apple spice, clove, and cinnamon, and it's delicious. Okay, let's get started here. I'm trying to look through my packing slip. Like, I think she's going to miss something. I doubt it, but... Okay, first one, fried dough. I got this during the carnival sampler and it is really good, guys. It, well, let me see. Fried dough, flaky, crust, cinnamon, and brown sugar. To me, I smell cinnamony brown sugar and, and the flaky crust, because I don't know. Oh gosh, it is so good. Mm, man, that's good. Um, it is definitely a cinnamony dough. This is what churro churro from Sensi should be and isn't. So, yeah. I'm going to try and put these things in a bucket. I keep playing with my shoes. Sorry. I'm in fidget mode. And sometimes when I'm in fidget mode, it I drive myself crazy. But I'm going to try and stick things in here so I can transport it to my... Well, now it's become a spare bedroom slash wax room. All right, eggnog milk and cookies. So I've never tried the plain up milk and cookies. Oh, I have it here. Let's, I'm going to sniff this one. Straight up milk and cookies. I got two of them because I heard that they're amazing. It's broken because I dropped it. Big surprise, I know. Actually, I don't want to put it in there until after I have those in. But let's, I want to smell what milk and cookies. Okay, rich sugar cookies, sugar cookie dough, buttercream, sweet milk with an extra pinch of sugar. It is definitely a sugar cookie blend. The milk note, I'm, I don't know. We'll see what I think about it on warm. Oh, that's right, I was gonna cross these off, wasn't I? We'll see, we'll see. All right, so now let's smell the eggnog milk and cookies, which is her milk and cookies. Oh, it's layered with creamy eggnog. Well, if it's layered. And obviously, if you've already watched Susan's, you know that her wax is insanely soft, like butter soft. I mean, it's it's seriously like butter. Anyway, layered. How cute is that? Ooh, I like the top. I think that must be the milk and cookies. Oh, that's so good. So good. I'm gonna have filthy jeans, delicious. Love it, love it. And I love how she uses, personally, this is me. So I like this versus the round, and that is purely because for me, I can make more even cuts. So I am glad that she's using the mini loaves. I know that sometimes she likes using, um, you know, the round ones, but it makes me happy. Okay, hey Santa, Santa's saying hello. All right, hey Santa is Christmas trees, sugar cookies, and candy canes. And I only got it in this size. I don't remember if she had these in the snap bars or not, but I didn't get bigger because it's got a tree note to it, so I have to be careful. Oh, that's really, really good. I forgot to cross these off. <clears throat> This is good. This does have a tree note. You can definitely smell it. Mm. But then you get that candy cane. You know how I love a good candy cane. Mm -hmm. Seriously, just makes me want to start humming Christmas music. Someone actually came and saw me in dispatch today. And when he was walking away, he was humming Christmas music. And I was like, too early. Even though I want to, you know, be playing it, I know it'll just irritate me if I uh, play my Christmas music too early. Next, Honey Pear Cider Donut. And this I had in a sample and it's, it's truly amazing. 
<laughs> oh man Erica gets it right it's um, spice honey pears and apple cider donut and guys this is the perfect perfect like honey pear cider it it's better than any apple cider out there the sweetness of the pear just like sets it aside from anything else. Okay, the last one I have, and of course, not a big surprise, it's peppermint milk and cookies. So you got the little peppermint with a glass of milk. All right, creamy peppermint and crushed candy canes layered with milk and cookies. So I'm just gonna smell the top just to keep my fingers a little bit on the um, clean side. Oh, I mean, seriously, my eyes. I mean, it just, poof, right up to the eyes. Hmm. No words. Absolutely no words. And I have no doubt that once I cut this up and I warm it with the milk and cookies, it is going to be glorious. It is wickedly strong. This is like definite sinus clearing my word, Erica, you outdid yourself with that one. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so now I get to start piling in the other things. And yes, I am marking these off just so that um, I know. Okay, so first one we did, what did we do? Milk and cookies, I got two of those. Everything else are singles. Now the one I dropped, not a surprise. All right, pumpkin cream cold brew. Espresso, whipped pumpkin, whipped cream, and vanilla cream. Again, coffee heaven goodness. Hmm. <laughs> Now, so Brandy, if you want coffee, let me know and I'll, I'll pick my favorite, well, some of my favorite coffee. I'm not sending you all my sassy, or second and spruce. I won't send you at all. <laughs> oh, but I will definitely hook you up since I know you haven't been able to order yet because uh, Erica's not going to start shipping to Canada until next year. So I told, uh, told Brandy I'd hook her up. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. The perfect, perfect mix of the pumpkin and the espresso. And the espresso is just creamy and it's sweet and it's, it's delicious. Let's mark that one off my list. Well, if I knew where I put it. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay, Christmas mug. It's another coffee. So it's espresso, creamy eggnog, sugar cookies, and mallow fluff. This one's a little different. Yes, it still has the espresso, but the addition of the eggnog has made this a definite different blend. It's, it's a little bit... Um, well, you know, eggnog is, well, it's egg, and this is like that eggnog and spice and stuff, whereas that one was more creamy. This one has, I would say, more spice. I think I prefer that one over the eggnog. So maybe I'm just not as keen on eggnog since, I don't know. Oh, this one, Yeti. Okay, so she sent Yeti in this size, uh, over um, over the summer, I was thinking it was with the raspberry sampler time frame. Anyway, it's creamy peppermint woods, moss, and a hint of citrus, and it's amazing. Oh, you get that really strong peppermint, then you get that hint of other stuff. You get a little bit of tree, a little bit of whatever that moss note is. It is, I would say, like one of the best 
Christmas kind of blends for me because I don't do spice. So for this, this is trees. Well, okay. I, I don't want to mimic another brand, but it's like creamy Christmas, candy cane Christmas trees. Let's, let's put it that way. So good. So good. And I'm not a huge tree person, you know, but I had to get a snap bar of Yeti. I loved it. Seriously, that much. This one had such a cute name. Ozzy Posborn. So it's strawberry pound cake, toasted coconut, and mallow fluff. And the cutest name. Okay. I mean, it's okay. I'm not the hugest strawberry pound cake person, but I keep trying. Do I get credit for keeping trying? I mean, it, it's good. Um, it's a strawberry pound cake. And I'll probably hang on to this one until, you know, summer. And it's got the cutest little paw on it. I mean, her labels are, she designs each label for the blend. Okay, this next one, Chai Girl. See, it's a cup of chai. Each label is different. It's not like every label is the same design. She puts thought into every single aspect of her presentation, of the pores. Um, if she doesn't like something, um, I know kind of in the beginning of the company, uh, she had a bunch of mispores, things that she didn't particularly care for. Or, okay, not care for, but I would say it wasn't what she had in her mind that it should have smelled like. She sold them as mispores. I bought a lot of them, and they're fantastic. So to me, I, I just think that goes to show how much Erica really cares about her company. All right, let's talk about Chai Girl. So Chai Girl is chai tea, maple, brown sugar, and oatmeal cookies. I was hoping it was going to be kind of low down on the maple, so we'll see. Mm. Mm, I don't smell maple. Okay, so chai tea, brown sugar, and oatmeal cookies, basically. It is really good. It is very oaty, but not like oatmeal. This is definitely an oatmeal cookie. Yeah. That's really good. Speaking of oatmeal cookies, so my uh, neighbor is doing fundraisers. Fundraiser season, actually, I don't know, in some areas it might be post-fundraiser season, I'm not sure, but so he's doing the Otis Spunkmeyer, whatever, the, the cookies. Yeah, $22 a thing. And yes, I ordered three different cookies because I support my neighbor's kid. He's seriously the cutest. Um, but uh yeah 66 bucks in cookie dough yeah okay next one oop not that one where is it on my list i hate it when i'm like i don't see this one on my list erica okay dat cake So I wonder if it um, has a new name. Cake Pops, Buttercream, and Birthday Cake. Oh, okay, this is Candace's blend. Got it, they called it Dat Cake. So Cake Pops, Buttercream, and Birthday Cake. I bet you this is hella sweet too. It is, it is a vanilla buttercream sugary cake. To me, this one would have to be a blender. Uh, I don't know that I could warm this one on its own purely because it is so sweet. Yeah, this one, yeah, I'm gonna, I, I'll have to use that one as a, a blender just because of how sweet it is. So, all right, next one, Dark Nights. How cute. Okay, so Dark Nights. Okay, I went out on a limb here. Palo Santo. Yep, yep, I did that. Mallow Fireside, Vanilla Bean Mallow, and Blackberry. Okay, I know, I know. 
it is sexy and sensual. I don't know if it's the Palo or the Blackberry, but it is deep. It's, yeah, it's very, it's a very sensual, deep, dark scent. So to me, this is not uh, like a masculine scent. No, this is just, I, it, it's hard to explain, but it's very sensual. Um, but it is, it is definitely dark nights. Definitely dark nights. This is not a sunny day scent. This is a dark night scent. Erica, that one, you got me on a little bit of Palo. I will admit that scent is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Fall in love. Look, the pumpkins, they're in love. I mean, seriously. It's all about what you put into your brand. And Erica, she's got it. Okay, pumpkin pecan waffles, birthday cake, glazed donut, cinnamon and sugar. Mm. Definitely a PPW with glazed donut, sugary cake. Um, deliciousness, very sweet, not heavy spice. Yeah, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Fall in love, amazing. Erica, you really need to keep these blends for next year because I have no doubt you will probably have at least a thousand more customers by that time. And I have a feeling you need to keep dark nights around all year round. Okay, next one. Gingerbread Village. See, it's the cutest little gingerbread house. Me and my eyeballs. All right. This is gingerbread cookies, holiday spices, buttercream, and a dash of bakery goodness. Seriously, a dash of bakery goodness. What is she thinking? Mm, okay, this is gingerbread. Hands down, gingerbread. So I was warming, yes, I know, I talk about other vendors or whatever. I was warming a Scentsy uh, blend a couple weeks ago and my husband loved it. I have no doubt he is, excuse me, gonna love this one. Because this kind of reminds me of that one, but this is beautiful gingerbread. Now, I don't eat gingerbread because it's got molasses in it, and I'm just not keen on molasses, but this is really, really good. Gingerbread Village, yep. I'm saving a couple. That's why I'm kind of looking down. I want to save this one till last. So, all right, jammed up and jellied. This is, I believe, another um, win. So I had kind of posted a, a little contest thing with Erica's permission, of course. I'm like, give me your favorite blend ideas. And I believe she chose three. And I believe jammed up and jelly is one of them. Um, it is. This is Brittany Lewis came up with this blend. And then so what they did is posted and then we voted on the blends that were posted. So, mm, okay. So this one is raspberry jam, sugared strawberry cookies, and fresh baked bread. This one, this is not like a ras, her, her, you can smell her raspberry jam. Absolutely. But you've got this sugared strawberry cookie, which is extremely sweet. You can definitely smell the sugar strawberry cookie in here. I don't know if I can smell the bread, which I'm okay with. I'm not a huge fresh baked bread person, but this is very sweet. This is like a sugary, extremely, like it says, jammed up and jellied sandwich. No peanut butter, just your your jelly, full on jelly, and it's extremely sweet. 
I bet you this one mixed with her peanut butter would be fantastic. So, very good blend, Brittany. Next one, pumpkin cashmere cookies. So, and it's funny because Sensi just had a pumpkin cashmere and it just, I don't know, it was just, it was okay. It wasn't anything special. So it's kind of funny though that um, she had come up with this before um, Sensi's came out. This is creamy pumpkin, cashmere cream, and sugar cookies. I'm not a huge cashmere cream person, but I wanted to kind of step outside my comfort zone on a couple, two, three of the blends. So let's try. It's, it's good. You can smell the cashmere cream for sure. Because this is, um, well, I don't know if you can smell the sugar cookies, but it's like, it is a creamy, um, soft kind of a blend. Yeah, um, the cashmere cream, you can smell. It, I wouldn't say this is a sensual blend, but it is a, a delicate, I guess you could say a delicate creamy pumpkin blend. It's really good. Um, next one, Holiday Market. A little bit outside my comfort zone. Look at that cute label. Well, I don't know if you could say it's outside the comfort zone, but it's Fraser Fur caramel apple cider and a hint of cinnamon sugar. It's the Fraser fur that I don't know how my head's going to abide on that one. Okay, it is definitely a strong to me Christmas tree scent. Yeah, it's a it's a strong Christmas tree scent and it is mixed for sure with the caramel apple cider. I'll have to be cautious with this one. Like normally I would warm the, the whole snap bar. I wouldn't be able to do that with this because the Fraser fur is so strong in it. So la -ta da And I have this one um, in, I think I have this one in a loaf too. So it's espresso, brown sugar, pecans, pound cake and zucchini bread and it's amazing so I had to get more I had to get more I mean I had to right I had to I had to oh my gosh it is so good her espresso oil is amazing so I know some people are like oh well this person has the best coffee no sorry guys no no it's second and spruce yeah she has the best coffee sorry all right, Thanksgiving stretchy pants. All right, let me mark this one off. You know, one thing I noticed I did not order that I, by the sounds of it, I really should have was that, that drunken, that drunken turkey one. How did I miss? Because people are talking about it, this drunken turkey thing. Drunken gingerbread junk drunken gingerbread is that what it is i don't know sounds really good anyway thanksgiving stretchy pants pumpkin pie apple pie sugar cookie hints of pecan caramel brown sugar and mellow fluff that is definitely thanksgiving with your stretch pants on which is actually what i do i do wear stretchy pants on thanksgiving it's fantastic <clears throat> Mm -mm -mm. All right, all my friends in Canada. When she starts shipping to Canada, you guys need to order for sure. But Brandy, just wait, girl. I cannot wait for you to try it. Okay, next one. Roasty Toasty. All right, marking it off. Roasty Toasty is roasted pine cones, toasted mallow, cinnamon, and sugar bakery spices. So another one, I'm just kind of stepping out of my comfort zone a little with the roasted pine cones. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is fantastic. You can definitely smell the roasted pine cones. I wish it was just a touch smidge sweeter. 
but it is is really good because pine cone scents I've noticed give me the woody note that I kind of like in tree scents. So there's a couple tree ones and I can't think of them off the top of my head, but that hit me as though I walked out in the backyard and put my nose in the middle of a Christmas tree. That is the feel that I get. This gives me those feels. So yes, I do smell the cinnamon and the sugar in it for sure, but the the roasted pine cones gives me those feels of going out, maybe, maybe not in a Christmas tree field, but definitely with some evergreen trees around. I have cedars in my front yard. Doesn't smell like cedar, um, but it gives me those uh, holiday kind of feels. And so, but it's definitely different than like the Fraser fir, which gives me a fir tree feeling. That gives me more of a woody kind of feels. All right, last one. And the reason I held this one back, and it looks like I got them all checked off, and I still can't believe I forgot the tipsy gingerbread man one thing. Anyway, Christmas on second. So her name is Second and Spruce. I didn't get Christmas on Spruce. I got Christmas on second because Christmas on Spruce is, of course, more tree. This one is Applewood Fir Garland candied orange, cranberry, and a hint of holiday spices. I thought my head might tolerate this one a bit more since I already got the Fraser fur. I thought I'm going to get one. I can smell it already. I thought I'd get the one tree with the Fraser fur and get this one with the applewood. And I mean, it's tree. All right, let's be honest. It's an applewood fur garland, but I think the Christmas on spruce was more tree. This is really good, but again, it, it's a tree note, so I am going to have to be very careful. And so far, my headaches have been a touch lighter, not doing the wax, um, which really kills me to, to say, considering I also got a Bath and Body Works um, candle haul in today. When I told my husband it was gonna be the last one, he said, I said, all right, don't roll your eyes. He goes, I was rolling my eyes and huffing, and I'm like, I know. Anyway, this is this is fantastic, but it, it's a tree scent, so I, I will be careful. That's my haul. So what did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three things. My calendar for this year is or for this month is is not good so yeah especially considering i'm not warming anything right now this is not going to be a good month for me anyway that's what i got from you or for you kicking myself on the whole you know i keep wanting to say tipsy turtle so the whole tipsy one that's that one i mean everyone's you know or not everyone but people are posting that one i'm like that one smells so good and i must have skipped it for some reason but anyway <sighs> It's a day, it's a week, and it's only Tuesday. So I know I used to record these on Monday because Motor Monday, well, Motor Monday has now changed days and we now call it Turbo Tuesday because all the drag racing is now on Tuesday and not Monday. So it's Turbo Tuesday instead of Motor Monday. We gotta keep it real, people. So that's what I've got for you. Thanks for hanging out. I do have, no, I don't have, I don't have anything coming up real soon, but I say that and I've got Sassy Girl Aroma sitting there, but I am not recording it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Second and Spruce is more important. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.